Hi all. In this video, we're going to discuss one of the pitfalls indie filmmakers face when it comes to getting a film off the ground. Finding your film idea stuck in development hell. Having a feature film stuck in development hell has happened to us. So we'll also discuss ways to get your film out of development hell, how to rise from the ashes and get your film made, how to keep going and not give up. And the important one, facing reality, is it best to just move on and the benefits of making this choice. Before we get started, we want to mention that we want to actually beat the algorithms here on YouTube. So to give us a hand there, why not give this video a like and leave a comment and I promise you that we'll write back. Thank you. Now back to the video. In 2019, we jumped into developing our biggest feature film ever to hold the moon, an LGBTQ drama set in Malta where we lived at the time. It was budgeted at 225,000 euro and was a sequel of sorts to our 2018 feature, Friends, Furs and Fireworks. While visiting Melbourne, we filmed a concept teaser with our actors, did a photo shoot for the poster and then returned to Malta confident we would find funding and move into production ASAP. To facilitate this goal, we spent thousands to sign up to a course about how to attract film investors. We teamed up with a prominent producer in Malta to help get the film off the ground. We prepared all the materials. We had a pitch deck, treatment, completed multiple drafts of the story outline. We even wrote a script to meet the Malta Film Commission funding application requirements, despite the fact that we usually make films using improvisation from a story outline. But four years later, we're no closer to green lighting to hold the moon. In fact, it feels like we have gone backwards and slipped further away from producing the film than that flurry of activity in 2019. The MTA funding stream didn't even open submissions that year, so all the materials we prepared were for naught. Our producer pulled out to make his own films. Following the investment course guidelines, we pitched to producers only to get no positive responses. And one of our actors even gave up acting and moved to London. So at this point, To Hold the Moon was clearly stuck in development hell. It's a difficult position to be in. You get swept up in the excitement of a brand new project. You know your story is worth telling, but your efforts just go nowhere. So how do you deal with this failure? How do you handle development how? You are not alone. I am here with you. It's, I'm serious here, all right? The first thing to realize is that you're not alone. This is an important point. You are far from alone. Failure to launch a production is nothing to be ashamed of. It's happened to some of the biggest and best filmmakers in the world. From every successful project, there are hundreds of screenplays that were never made. Almost every indie filmmaker has a sad story about a dream project that never happened. Some notable examples of directors that have similar development health stories worth noting are Stanley Kubrick and his epic historical drama Napoleon. Kubrick kept talking about making Napoleon throughout his lifetime, hoping he will find a way, but it never happens. Then there are other projects like, uh, I can't pronounce this, Alessandro Jodorowsky's Dune, adaption attempts at Corbin McCarthy's Blood Meridian, the comic are confidentiary of dancers, which Hollywood has been trying to adapt for 40 years, which are infamous could have been. Wow. <laughs> so you are far from alone. Development hell happens to some of the best and biggest filmmakers in the world. Sometimes films go through development hell but manage to pull themselves out and get made. The most famous example is Terry Gilliam's film The Man Who Killed Don Quixote. Gilliam started work on the film of Datchet in 1989 but the project stalled and failed time after time due to everything from lack of funding to freak storms destroying the set to actor injuries. It wasn't until 2017 after almost 30 years of development hell that Terry Gilliam finally made his film. So don't give up hope. If you maintain passion about your story and tenacity to see it completed, you will still have a chance of success. We haven't given up on To Hold The Moon either. We have been reaching out to Maltese producers and who knows where a simple inquiry may lead. Step back, take a deep breath. Meditate if you have to and then reevaluate. We're firm believers that things happen for a reason. Perhaps your project stalled because it wasn't the right time. You were not ready. The story wasn't quite right. Or there's another project that you need to do first before the cards line up and things fall into place for you to make your dream film. Development Hell gives you the time to reassess what went wrong. 
is the story really as solid as it can be? Maybe you need to strip your story back so it can be made on a smaller budget. So take this time to rethink your film. We're doing the same thing with To Hold the Moon, evaluating what works and what doesn't. With time comes new perspectives and that often leads to new ideas. The last option you have is to simply move on. Sometimes a project simply isn't meant to be, sometimes the story doesn't work or the numbers don't add up. When we looked at the comparable films for To Hold the Moon, we found that no other LGBT film at a similar budget actually made its money back. So to attract funding for the project, we'll need to either decrease the budget or find investors who are philanthropic rather than driven purely by potential returns. But if your film story makes no business sense, or even if it does and you're simply not passionate about the story any longer, there is no shame in walking away. There are other projects to make and other stories to write. If money is the roadblock that has you stuck in development hell, as is often the case with micro-budget filmmaking, produce a different film on a smaller budget. We're big advocates of this. We operate in the micro-budget space, preferring to invest our own money in our films. This is a way to maintain full control. That way we don't owe anyone any returns and we get a bigger slice of the cake. And both of us, we really do like cake. Especially me. Of course, we acknowledge that some films simply cannot be told properly with a micro-budget, such as To Hold the Moon. That doesn't mean we'll sit on our hands while waiting for money to come in. We released four other feature films since 2019, plus our entire web series, and our careers are better off for it. If To Hold the Moon is never produced, we're still going to keep making films. We're going to be okay. And so will you. Development hell might be disheartening, but hitting roadblocks is part of the filmmaking process. Learn from it and grow from it. But whatever you do, don't let it define who you are as a filmmaker. If your film is stuck in development hell and you want to make a micro-budget film, you should actually watch this video. It's about the attitudes and ideas needed to make a micro-budget feature film. Don't forget to also like this video here and our other videos and subscribe to our channel so we can keep sharing more insight around the topic of micro-budget madness and also get that algorithm moving.